Good day grade 11s. Welcome to week 25. In this lesson we're carrying on with Euclidean geometry but we're introducing to you to a new concept and that is cyclic quadrilaterals and then we're going to do two proofs on them. So first of all what is a cyclic quadrilateral? A cyclic quadrilateral is a quadrilateral and a quadrilateral is any four-sided figure. Not five, not three, not eight, it has to be four. It's a four-sided figure, in other words it's got four points and it's a cyclic quad if all four points touch the circumference. So if we look at these examples we can see in the first one we've got four points. One, two, three, four and they all touch the circumference, so yes, that is a cyclic quad. This one here, one, two, three, four, yep, that's a cyclic quad. This one you can see Q does not touch the circle, therefore that's not a cyclic quad. And here you can see that T does not touch the circle, therefore that's a cyclic quad. Now this is also very important, the naming of it. When we name them, you have to name them in the, in the order of the points. In other words, we can say, a, D, C, B, or you can say A, B, C, D, or you could say B, C, D, A, or you could say C, D, A, B, but we will not say A, C, D, B. You have to basically go round it, okay? Similarly here, yeah, you will see that it says, yes, P, Q, R, S, P, Q, R, S is a cyclic quad, but P, R, S, Q is not a cyclic quad. So it's very important to name these correctly, so please be careful of that. Right, so now let us look at our first proof. The proof says the opposite angles of a cyclic quad are supplementary. That's what we're going to prove. So we're going to prove that that angle and that angle add up to 180 degrees. And if I really wanted to, then I'd prove that this angle and this angle add up to 180 degrees. But I'm going to just do it for the one. It says circle with center O, O, okay, O, with points A, B, P and Q in the circumference such that A, B, P, Q is a cyclic quad and they want us to prove that the opposite angles of the cyclic quad are supplementary. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start by joining A, O and O, P. So I'm going to construct A, O and O, P. Now, I'm going to let this little angle here, well, it's actually quite a big angle, I'm going to let that be x. Actually, in fact, I'm going to be 2x, okay? So, therefore, I'm going to say let angle AOP equal 2x. Then, by our definitions and our theorem that we've learned, we know that the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference if it's subtended by the same points. So therefore we can say therefore that ABP, ABP, I apologize, ABP is equal to X, why? Because the angle at the center equals two times the angle at the circumference. Okay, therefore this is X and if we look at this point, do you agree that this whole thing is 360 degrees? So if I change my color and I look at this side, which we call the reflex angle, you will see that that there is equal to 360 minus 2x. So that angle there is 360 minus 2x. So the reflex angle of the reflex, which just means the side on the other side of angle AOP is equal to 360 minus 2x. Why? Just because it's angles on a point. Therefore, again, because the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference, we can say that AQP is equal to half of that, which is 180 minus 6. So this here is 180 minus 6. But check this out. If we go, and I'm just going to change color, if we go AQP, AQP plus 
ABP, ABP, what do we get? We get AQP is 180 degrees minus X plus ABP, which we said was X, which equals 180 degrees. Therefore, we've proven that the opposite angles of a cyclic quad are supplementary. Now grade 11s, if I wanted to be very, very, very pedantic and to prove it to you again, I could have done this. I could have then gone, okay, fine, well, we've proven it for those two. Now what I'm going to do is, and I'm just going to erase this. And then I'm going to draw it in new colors. And I could have joined this angle here and that line there and then I sort of said okay fine let that be 2x and if that was 2x the angle at the center is twice the angle of circumference and this would have been x then this here because it's all around a point would have been 360 minus 2x and therefore this year would have been 180 minus x and ta-da this plus this equals 180 degrees that so works both ways so either way whichever way you do it you will find that the opposite angles of a cyclic quad are supplementary right next proof it says we need to prove that the exterior angle equals the interior opposite angle of a cyclic quad in other words they want us to prove that this dude here this angle here is equal to this one so we kind of gonna use the proof that we've just used we've got a B, C, and D. We know, because of the proof that we've proved, that if this is X, then this year has to be 180 degrees minus X. Why? Because opposite angles of likely quad are supplementary. Therefore, this has to be X. Why? Because they're on a straight line and they are supplementary. Therefore, the exterior angle A equals the interior opposite angle C. Let me write that down. We're going to say let angle BCD equal X. Therefore, angle B AD, B, AD is equal to 180 degrees minus X. Why? Because opposite angles of a cyclic quad are equal. And therefore, we've got that angle, exterior angle A, exterior angle A, equals x y because of angle on straight line therefore exterior angle a is equal to angle c therefore the exterior angle equals the int opposite angle of a cyclic quad Right, I hope you understood this. Please make sure that you do understand it. I have never seen you have to prove this one, but the previous one, this previous, yeah, where you had to prove that the opposite angles of the cyclic quad are supplementary, that's a proof I see quite often. Please make sure you know how to do both of them. And then go practice, and then we'll do examples using this in the next lesson. Have a lovely day, grade 11s.